Strass. Right here. Are you the one he called? Yes. Um, my fiance is now over across the street. All right, just so you know, this is being recorded. Correct. Okay. Yes. Um, at the brown house, second house down the corner. Yeah, she's refusing to take her meds is what we're hearing. Well, we can't she, make her take them. We were sitting out on the porch, me and Cliff, and he went to use the bathroom, and she had a knife beside her. She was passed out, and... Yeah. She had a knife beside her, so what was she doing with the knife? She was trying to stab herself. Well, I, I'm going to tell you, you probably haven't been here. This is probably our fourth call here today. Yeah, this is probably our fourth call here today. And part of it is that she refuses to take her medications. And if you're not taking your medications, then... It causes oh, you to, to do. The video out. Get me out of this so I can show you the video. Of what? Of her yelling and. Well, yeah, we've been we've been here. Like I said, we've been here four times today. So. Yours isn't like mine. With a knife. Tap back key and select. Exit emergency. Would you like to exit emergency mode now? Yes. There you go, brother. Here. From what I saw, that aspect, she just had it next to her. She wasn't trying to stab you with it. Not at this point in time. Show her where she's at. Show her where she's at. Here. Yeah, I'm going to have to walk down to where my partner is here. But actually, that's a different one. All right, I got to go down here where my partner is, guy. So. Not, nothing we can't handle. It's all good. Okay, it's nothing here. Uh, in a minute, I got to go down where my partner is, sir. Alpha, one. Get ammo out of here. Ah, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. Hey guy, hey guy, why don't you come right over here, man? Let's have a seat over here. Let us let us figure out what's going on with her, okay? Right there. Okay, have a seat for me. Okay, do you live there in the last one? Yeah, my mom's out there. 
So uh, we got called earlier today. Yes. Uh, what, what, how many? How many times did we call today? Uh, they they is, called. This, they this called. Three. Okay. So we called. We came out the first time. Calling and setting it up because he. My mom's out of town. He said he videoed David. I don't know if they play on I'm not on drugs. I swear to God. Are you, are you being treated for anything? I'm just I have anxiety. Okay. Anything um, else? No. Okay. Who's, who's treating you for anxiety? Um, uh, uh, Spokane Mental Health. Who's your kid? Uh, no, no, for Sean. Okay. For Sean. You can talk to her. Alright, so are you seeing mental health on a weekly yeah. basis or what? Yes, yeah, every week. Every week. Okay. So they were concerned because we got called to page. So ignore them. Ignore them. You can kill her. Okay. They called and said they found you what they thought you were passed out on the bathroom floor. Okay. So were you sleeping on the floor? Were you sleeping on the floor? Were you sleeping on the floor? No, I passed out. So why were you on the bathroom floor then? Because you choked me. Did the video show anything of her on the floor? I'll go look at it. K nine sixteen clear at seven six six X ray Paul Union. You have to listen to it. K sixteen is set of zero and current. No way to go to RAV4, no color was it to a Richard or Lois Hamilton out of Gig Harbor. We were sitting out on the porch. Yeah, is there anything of her in the bathroom? What do you mean? Is there any video of her out laying on the bathroom floor? We walked in and there was a knife on the floor and she was passed out. Did you videotape that? No. Okay. You went to use the bathroom. Here's the other one. All right, hold on a sec. Here, here's the other one. You didn't do nothing to her. She came running around the backside, and here's the other one. What? We were sitting outside. She's claiming you choked her. That's how she passed out. No, he was I outside. I have not done anything, officer, at all. I've called the cops. I've called um, crime check. I've called uh, first care. Nobody touched her. Okay, what's your last name? My last name is Cron. Spell it. K-R-A-H-N. Your first name? Dale. The initial Dale? M. Date of birth? 4570. Phone number for you, Dale? 217-4957. And where do you live at? I live off of 821 West Walton. I came down there to hang out with Cliff. And you guys are friends? Correct. Okay. Yeah, well, we actually all live at the same apartment building right behind Grove. Okay, so you don't live at her house? No, we live right over here at 408 West Glass. Mm -hmm. We used to live over there. That's okay. She's saying it's her mom's house at 408 West Glass. Is that true? No, it is not. It's your guys' place? It's my place and her place. I helped him move into Glass. Her mom's on lease, but it's not her mom's place. He did not do anything to her. You guys just found her passed out on the floor there? Correct. She had a knife. Has she been drinking? She's doing uh, She metal. drank last night. Mm-hmm. And then today, I don't know. And then today, like he just said, she went over She went over to a, a supposed friend's house and all of a sudden, you know. Flipped out. Does know. she use math? She has in the past. And I know for a fact the friend that she went to was using. And she's claiming that he's clean. But I'm pretty sure he's not. All right, man. Sit yeah. tight. Hey, Dad. There's scratch marks on her neck. I don't know if she did it herself or what. But. Well, I got two of them over there, and they said they were out front on the porch.
<laughs> You're walking up to a friend's house. There's a known meth yeah, there. She's a meth user. Up. They said she came back from that friend's house and she was just like this. She went in the house after a lot. Last time we were here, they stayed out front and finally this dude here that she lives with, it's not her mom's house. Her mom's on the lease. She leased it for them. They live there together. And uh, he uh, went in to take a squirt. His, bro his friend followed him in there and they found her passed out on the floor with a knife next to her. And he friends said, they never, I got his information, he said, he never touched her. He goes, she came running out, he goes, she's been like this, and he goes, she's, she used to use meth, she used meth, and the friend thought hang, she hang went tight, to. Hang, no, just, just sit tight, man, we'll be right, just, just sit tight, man, we'll be right with you. Yeah, so he said, never touched her. This is our third trip for her today. First trip was I thought she was suicidal. We got here and she was gone. Came back yeah, second she time went to the friend's house. He said, he said, he goes, the friend's house she went to is a big meth user. And he said, she came back all fucking wiped out like this. Oh. I know his mother. His Hey, 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 keep your mouth shut about this. Hey, quit trying to antagonize it. Don't antagonize the situation. They're not talking to you. You're the one screaming at them, so leave it alone. Just leave it alone until we figure out what we're doing here. Why are you trying to yell at them? 
you, that's not going to help anything. You dumb little female between ten and whatever. It's the worst thing people that make me sick. How could someone talk to someone out of this shit? He's yelling at my son's leg and my throat and trying to choke me and make me sick. Okay, let's go back to your apartment. I want you to show me that place. Okay? Can, you, can you walk me over there? Yeah. Okay, because I want to see that. See what? This blanket. That she did. So, you're going to walk past me. You're going to be in a girl's room. You're not going to say anything. Yeah. Hey, let me. Hey, I'll, I'll walk them over to our cars and you can walk by. Let's walk over to our cars, guys. Wait for them. No, and don't say anything, please. Northcast, possible DUI driver, Montgomery and Post. Westbound Montgomery, I'm blue 70s pickup. Driven by a male, Kyle, right old, left location, intoxicated. So how long have you guys lived here at this place? Uh, December 27th. So, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, if you guys would, man, just sit over on the curve right here where my partner does his finish up his investigation, please. So when she came back from this place, that was that after the female officer was there? Yeah, she took off again, and mm -hmm. then she ran down to a place that is known as a, a meth house, mm -hmm. and then came back and started acting frantic. I went inside to talk to her, and she freaked the fuck out, mm -hmm. and I stepped outside. Uh, Right. When you yeah. say she freaked out, what do you mean? She freaked by out that? by yelling and screaming at me and just saying all kinds of shit. I don't even know exactly what was said. And I, I stepped outside and I'm, I'm, I was just done with it. And that's why I was like, you know what, we'll just go over to your place. We were leaving. Up. You wanted to use the bathroom. And she was laying on the floor with the knife beside her. She picked up the knife. After he called 911 and threw it in the sink. I got old eyes. Is there any way you guys can check on like crime check or anything like that? Because uh, her mom or uh, first call for help. Cause, uh, her mom's called a couple times today too, and I, I know for a fact that I did. And I well, yeah, control. we know we've been here three times here today. Okay. Yeah, we that's all cross referenced and into one call. We had him do that before we got here. Yeah, and and the way that she was acting when she was on the bathroom floor, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was checking. And, she wouldn't move for shit, and then as soon as Dale said call the cops, I dialed it, and all of a sudden she, and she jumped up. she popped up, up and, and threw the knife in the sink, and then she started throwing pillows. I gave him the phone. And it, it really is getting to the point to where I don't think... It's a danger to just herself. She's she's getting bad news. So she's threatening us and everything else. So Yeah. He didn't do nothing wrong, I didn't do nothing wrong.
Yeah. You didn't say you did. We watched the hose turnation go down and... You watched the what? Watch the whole situation. Really. Okay. All right. So there was no violence whatsoever. Well, that would be a good thing. What's your last name, sir? Uh, Dillingham. G I L L I N G H A M. First name? Clifton. C L I F T zero N. Middle initial? W. Dead of birth? 928-86. Phone number for you, sir. 217-4086. All right. And that's 509. Yeah. Who probed? Because uh, today, like, I was trying to call her counselor. She hasn't slept in a couple days. She hasn't taken her medicine at all. And she's been doing this and steadily getting worse. Mm -hmm. And I've... I, I, I don't have any way of getting her down to Sacred Heart myself. And I came up on the scene today yeah. to visit Cliff, so... He actually rose back up as the last officer to talk to me, like, a long time ago. Probably about two hours ago. Correct. That's going to be the White House, west side of the street. All right, sit tight, gentlemen. Ross. They said that he wrote down here to visit. He said when she was on the floor in the bathroom, she wouldn't pop up. They're like, hey, he needs to get up. And Cliff said that she hasn't slept in a couple of days. He said, I can't get her to take her. He goes, her mom's called first. She now admitted that she was sleeping on the floor. She didn't remember that earlier. Yeah. When he said, and when they said, okay, call the police, she popped up, put the knife in the sink, and then started throwing pillows. Well, the, the door. Ask him how the door frame got broken in the bathroom. The frame is all cracked away. I don't know. But she said that she had just fallen asleep, and she said that she was face down with her head near the door. It was a good size kit, like a steak knife in the sink. She's all I had that because I was worried. Yeah, he, was... she put it in there, yeah. So you want me to see how the... What, what, what is he doing? Tonight? What is he doing? He's leaving. They're leaving. I don't have anything. I don't have enough to take her. She is not... He, she's not made any statement. She wants to hurt herself. Well, so you want him? He said he's leaving. He said we were trying to leave because the only reason I went in was to take a piss before we walked up okay. to Walton. She says as long as he goes, that's the biggest thing. She just wants to go to bed. I'll I'm, I'll do a one A on all her. Things okay. All right. Let me. See. I think they're going to need that bike. Hey, Cliff, you guys, do you need this bike over here? Uh, that's actually bike. Yeah, why don't you guys get it? Cliff, you need to stay gone for the night, okay? She's going to go to sleep. She finally remembered she was sleeping in the bathroom, okay? Wait, 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 what? Don't come back tonight, okay? Because right, you're going to get um, yourself in trouble. And, and what I'm, I'm get you myself will you listen? Trouble, listen to me. Just listen. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm trying to protect you here. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. You need you need to pay attention to what I'm telling you. Okay. We do not have enough to take her to Sacred Heart right now. Okay. If we did, we'd try to do that. All she wants is for you to leave her alone tonight. Be gone. Let her sleep. Whether she sleeps or not, I don't know. But you said you were leaving with your buddy here. I was trying to take a piss before I left. Yeah, and that's what I told my buddy. So you guys grab the bike, be gone, don't come back tonight, man. Let things calm down, let this situation, because here's the deal, we've been here three times. Every time we come to your house, it gets documented and it gets correlated into a cross-reference call. And it goes to the so, so just remember that, we, we know all the times we've been here. So let's grab your stuff and get out of here, okay, for the evening and call it. I guess whatever's on the porch would probably be sufficient, so. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Let's make it happen. And that, and we're going to document the whole, the whole incident's going to be documented, so. Please. Well, we can send it to MHP. That's right. That would be awesome.
Yeah, we can send it to MHP. But this is, and the reason I'm telling you to stay away is so we can let the whole thing de-escalate yeah, yeah. tonight, okay? The original reason why I was trying to leave, too, is like, she's just not coming down. All right, well, can I use well, the bathroom real quick? No, we're not going to go in, bro. We're not, <laughs> I, I don't care what you do later on down here. I forgot my keys, but I didn't come back tomorrow. Yeah, you can, tomorrow. Can I actually set this inside? This is my stuff on his bike. Grab it. I'll, I'll put it inside. All right, let's go, guys. I'll just ride it to his place either way. Well, ride it since he's got a bike then. Right, bike grab it. Grab All right, I'll ride it. Yeah, he usually lets me. He's like, yo, go ahead, go to the store real quick. All right, guys, be gone. Come back tomorrow, man. Let things calm down, okay? I hope it's calm down. Oh, we're on tomorrow morning, so let's go. All right, they're going to leave. Yes, I did. Okay, guys, she's... Obviously, we're not going to... I'm not doing anything. I'm going to document what she said, okay? Good. And I'm Probably documenting what you two said, and that's it? Your relationship with her, for lack of a better term, is toxic. I guess I would be better off apart. I'm just, just a layman's perspective. Yeah. Um, she said that she's planning to go to her mom's and mom's back from out of town. Uh, yeah, she's in Culver right now at the grandparents. Okay. So. She hasn't made any thoughts or hurt herself or anybody else. I don't have enough to force an involuntary to take her heart. There, there's a protocol we have to follow if she doesn't fall into it. I just can't arbitrarily grab somebody, throw them in my car. Yeah, for sure. Uh, for so sure. if you guys are good, then I'd go ahead and scoot out of here. Give man. yourself a good break from this. Yeah. If she wants to contact you later, feel free. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Monday morning, me and her mom will talk and we'll get some stuff dealt with. Uh, you know, there's, there's some serious issues. Okay. All right, All right man. All right, stay gone, man. Have a great night. All right, you guys too. Enjoy, guys. So what if you ride a child's bike out? Standard, I need somebody at the rear of this house. Baker 341, we're on standard, so 31 can go to the back side.